Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to create a class of to class to target with jQuery selectors. Uh, not every class needs to have corresponding CSS. Sometimes we create classes just for the purpose of selecting these elements more easily using jQuery. Fine, give each of your buttons button elements the class target. Interesting. Okay, so we know that um, class is um, is in this section, yeah, and so we want to give these guys a class of target. They already have two classes, so we want to add a third on. It doesn't matter where you add it. You could add it here. You could add it here. Or you could add it at the end. The order of class selectors doesn't matter. Um, so, Or you could just add uh, it right at the end to the last three. Um, Again, I'm adding spaces here because I don't want the um, I want the buttons to be like clear and it's easy to read. Um, I think that to me, if they're stacked on top of each other like this with these things all off the page, it looks hard to read. And so I like to keep it simple. This keeping it simple thing is a, a habit that I have that I think is uh, really useful when you get into more complex projects. These are very simple projects. Once you get into more complex projects, having them well organized is really useful. I would probably actually separate the ro the columns out as well so I can see it really easily if I were just coming back to the project after sitting out for a while. But all this stuff doesn't matter at all if all you're trying to do is pass the tests. Um, all you had to do is add the target in there. I just put it all over the place just for the sake of showing you that it doesn't matter which order your class selectors are in, just as long as uh, they're separated by spaces. If you're getting an error, it might be because you put a comma in there. That would cause it so that it didn't work. Oh, it didn't, still worked, but that shouldn't have worked. Um, you can see over here, it looks different because the button default class is off, but it still has the target, so that must be what the tests are uh, testing for. Um, the cool thing about uh, adding a thing like this, you can use this for jQuery selecting, which we'll probably do in the next one, but it also gives you the opportunity to, uh, you can do stuff like this with testing. So adding separate classes into buttons is very useful. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.